Here's the unemployment choo-choo. All right, Jeff. Um, you know, I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. Uh, I've had a couple days to decompress from that, uh, that the trauma that I put myself through again. Yeah, you got a uh, you got a lot of ghosts in the closet. <laughs> well, I do, I do, and you know, it, it's you know, maybe looking back on it, it's no wonder that uh, you know people might think might think things of me. I remember, and, and you know, we each had this happen to us last week. Um, somebody, I guess, thought you were a woman, and somebody asked me if if uh, I was uh, your your life partner. Um, wow. Well, this is one heck of a week for us. Huh? Yeah, you know, so, and this could all stem from the Volpe beat. Look, uh, I was in the dollar store, and of all places to be confused, uh, you know, for as a woman, uh, let it be in the dollar store. And it wasn't some senile old lady working there, some senile old man or anything like that. It was a young girl. And you know, you go into places now, you have a mask on. And in the snack aisle, uh, I guess she was heading up. She was called to relieve at the register. And as she was walking past me, she said, excuse me, ma'am. Now, now, before we get into this, you, uh, you know, there's a picture. There's pictures of us on our Rizzo and Jeff um, Facebook page. Uh, we do videos and stuff you can see. Now, you have short um, black hair. Sometimes you get a little salt and pepper in there. You know, um, but you take care of that quickly. Your hair is short. Just for men. Just yeah. for men. Your hair is short. Uh, you know, you usually wear sweatpants. Correct. Um, right. You know, maybe a tee, right? Um, right. I it, had a long sleeve shirt on, but if you looked at it, it was very uh, gender neutral, the outfit. W- was the color gender neutral or was the outfit gender neutral? Just, you know, the, just the jogging pants and, like, the long sleeve shirt. Yeah, but were you wearing, um, like, something mauve? No, no, no. It was, like, a gray, just something very mundane. It was nothing, you know. It, it looked like something that a, go- a man or a woman would throw on just to run to the dollar store to pick up, you know, odds and ends. But what, okay, was she, when she, was she facing you as she passed or did she pull up behind you? She was not. She was, she was stocking. Uh, you know, I think she was the, in the cracker section stocking. And uh, she kind of turned around because, you know, the line was getting a little long and she was coming up there to assist. And uh, on, you know, we went kind of face to face or mask to mask. And uh, she said, excuse me, ma'am. But then I had to wait for a second because I thought I must have heard this wrong. Right. She can't uh, be talking to you. uh, and And I look around. You always look to see is there somebody else in the aisle. And that was not the case. I was mammed. So, so you got me now. Let me ask you: Were your uh, half lemons uh, were they were yes. they were they hard? Yeah. Like, did you have the hard? No, no. I think the shirt had just came out of the dryer. I think it shrunk a little bit. So uh, the half lemons were they were visible. Yeah. Okay, but so so were they were they puffing out uh, more? I, you know, I don't. I don't know. I don't. You know. I don't. I didn't check myself to see if there was. Uh, you know, you know, like I was going through my period and they were a little puffed, um, you know, but the mask that I was wearing was covering, you know, my little, you know, shadow beard that I have going on. So you didn't see that. So when you look at first, uh, you know, half lemons, my hair was a little bit shorter this time. It was cut a little shorter. I could have confused you for a truck driving lesbian. But see, that's what I'm saying. Like, what what part of your body did she look at? Like, it obvious. Like, okay, I guess you could have a a a, a lesbian haircut. I guess, but I mean, she had to have either looked at your ass or your lemons and made the conscious decision that those were either titties or a big caboose. So I'm trying to figure out what she looked at. I, you know, I don't know. Uh, everything was moving so quickly. You know, in the dollar store, things move quick, and uh, everything happened so fast. It was like a like a bolt of lightning. You know, just excuse me, ma'am, and then off to do her job. Now, did you did you speak? Like, did she did she hear your voice? Were you on the phone? Were you no mm-mm, nothing? And I couldn't. I didn't say anything, and I couldn't say anything uh, because I was like, wow. I, you know, it was one of those moments like somebody punches you in the gut. Did she give you like a, 
you know, did she see any of your scruff? No, it was covered by the mask. So uh, I guess with a mask on, at first glance, I look like I could eat your panties like a billy goat. What? <laughs> That's what I was going to say. Do you think for her it was wishful thinking? Uh, well, uh, well, it is what it is. But one, to be mammed, uh, you know, to think that I'm a woman. But two, a ma'am is something that you say to an older woman, right? Well, right. An old woman. And again, you you know, I, I could understand if she just like you were behind a curtain and she just heard you complain about like things. Like that would make sense to me because you, you are an old woman inside, but she couldn't see your inside. She didn't hear you. Right. I mean, come on. Like, who do you ma'am? You, you ma'am a librarian? Well, God, that's a great question. Who do you ma'am? I mean, you're right. You ma'am a librarian. You know what? You ma'am a lunch lady. You ma'am a lunch lady. The, the lady with the boil. She's got the hair growing out of it. You know, she's got a big fupa. Like, that's... You ma'am a lunch lady. Have you ever not ma'amed a lunch lady? Uh, you know what? I, I don't remember. It was many years ago uh, when I was lunch ladying it up. Uh, okay. But I, I... You know, I'm sure I might have ma'amed. But, yeah. I, but I feel like uh, ma'am comes with a certain age. Well, so see, now... I don't think it's an age, Jeff. I think it's a lifestyle and an attitude. Like, like I mean, I wouldn't... For example, what's the name of that cookie place in the Grand Traverse Mall uh, down the end? It's like a, you know, it's like a cookie store. I know what you're talking about. Uh, uh, Mrs. Fields. Uh, 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 Mrs. Fields. Mrs. Fields. Chain, yeah. Okay. Yeah. You could be 18 or 81. If you work at Mrs. Fields, you're a man. You're a little rotund. You probably have underarm hair. You may have had some, you may have cookie farts. Your feet always hurt. Your feet are always. You were, yep. you were, sketch, you were sketcher shoes. Or, or no, I get it. Right, and so like orthotic. What are those like? You know those generic shoes that are like all one color. They're not even sketchers, but they're Velcro, and that's what you wear. Like, you know, right? They're like a, they're like an off white. Yes, yes, right. yes. So I feel like it's a lifestyle and an attitude, and I think it has a lot to do with your career. You know, like you said, librarian, Mrs. Fields. What uh, what is another job you would ma'am? Lunch lady. Um, this is tough. Ah, lady behind the counter at Arby's. You would ma'am her. Yeah. Uh, you would ma'am uh, the checkout lady at J.C. Penney. Yeah. Yeah. Things like that. Yep. Right. Uh, the the assistant manager of Chipotle. They get a ma'am. They get a ma'am. You know, but you don't you don't ma'am the Panera Bread because the Panera Bread woman is a progressive woman. You know, but if you're a Chipotle, you're a man. Well, this is where my life is at this point. That you know, with with my face halfway covered, I am a man. You are. I have I have become a man, and I don't know when I crossed over that threshold. Um, I, I, I you know maybe that's for somebody else to tell me. But uh, it happened to me at a dollar store, aisle four, where the snacks are, and uh, I'll never forget it. You became the Mrs. Field slash librarian slash orthotic shoe wearing slash Chipotle assistant manager, glarpy, flarpy, hairy, cookie fart woman. A day in the Dollar Tree. A day in the Dollar Tree. Yes. <laughs> Here's the unemployment choo choo. <laughs> Well, you know, Jeff, I, I had an almost similar experience. See, I wasn't insulted like you were, but I was taken aback because uh, you know Pirate Rizzo, right? Oh, I've heard of him. Pi- Pirate Rizzo, he's, he's he's pretty famous. A lot of people like Pirate Rizzo. Yeah, and, he's, uh, he's the talk of the town. He's got, a, he's got a small fan base. He, 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 a small but loyal fan base. And and like Mom always said, it's not about the size. Of your fan base. Yes. Well, that's that's what she told you. That's right. And, that's... You, and you certainly live by that, Bob. I do. It's not about the size of my fan base. That's right. That's right. Uh, it's about the quality. And Jeff, Pirate Rizzo, he was, um, you know, sharing with his cohorts, his other pirate friends, about, you know, because they, they always ask, why am I doing videos? Why am I Snapchatting? Why am I posting pictures and videos of the pirate ship on Facebook? You know, they think it's weird. 
okay, maybe they should be doing the same thing. Right, you know. Drawing up a little excitement. Self-promotion, I agree. And, uh, you know, I explained to them that, you know, this pirate life, while very enticing, isn't necessarily the life for me. And I said, I'm a real, I'm a radio guy. I'm a, you know, I'm almost a ma'am. And, you know, I, uh, this is just temporary. And they, yeah, and you know what? If that's the life they love living, then more power to you. 100%. But so then they said, oh, okay, well, where was your show? And I, you know, I was explaining and they were like, oh, you know, and, and they, they, they saw my page and they said, your name's Rizzo and Jeff? I said, no. Oh, come on. They did. The one lady, her name, I, I, you know what? She listens to this podcast. I can't say her name, but you know who you are listening and whatever. But she says, your name is Rizzo Jeff? Rizzo and Jeff? And I go, no. And I said, Jeff is, you know, my partner, you know, for the, I said my partner. I guess I should have specified, but anyway. Okay. Okay. All right. I said, he's my partner. And then I left it alone. So she said, oh, cool. I'm going to check out some of the stuff. <laughs> So I guess I come back after, uh, you know, I, I get back from, from the plane and uh, I go, I pick up my paycheck and she goes, hey, I really listen to your stuff. She goes, I think it's really funny. She goes, I'm going to start listening all the time. She goes, you and your partner are just perfect together. And so I'm, th- I'm, I'm just thinking, oh, this is nice. Professional, you- professionally. Yes, right. yes. I'm thinking this is great. And then she goes, and I'm answering these questions. She's just like, so how long have you guys been together? You know, how did you meet? You know, and I said, well, he was actually with somebody else. And then, you know, when we all met up, you know, I kind you know, we kind of did our own thing. And so like, I'm like explaining this to her. So then I guess I don't think about it. I get my paycheck. I leave. She then proceeds to tell the story of you and I to the crew. So the squad. The squad. All right. 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 So first off, my boss, Susie, comes up and she says, I just want you to know that I am so proud of you. And I'm just like, what the fuck is going on? But everyone's acting weird. Like they're acting so weird. Right. And so, you know, everyone's just being real nice. They're offering me like free Coca-Cola and like they're just like, oh, oh, wow. I got, you know, usually I got to pay a dollar for a Coke. But the bartender, Cody, was like, would you like a Coke on the house on the house? Uh, Wow. Okay, so I go in and I'm talking to Grace again. And, you know, the she's like, how was the sale and everything? And, you know, (laughs) Grace is a. She's a very like she's very Republican, so she was she's been bitching about the election, you know, since it happened. A lot of people have, right, yeah. right, and that's fine, you know. And I listen to her, and I just kind of hear everybody out. It's whatever, and you know, she's talking, and she says, "But I want," and I, you know, I listen to her, and I say, "All right, cool, thank you." And then I walk out, and she goes, "I just want you to know, okay, that even though I like Donald Trump, I completely support your life." And I said. What is that? Why? I, f- thanks. And she goes, you have a right to get married. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> fuck. I'm like, oh, no. So for like a whole week, this whole crew has been thinking that I'm gay. And I haven't told them that I'm not yet. And this is why I wanted to talk about this, because I've been getting free Coca-Colas. I've been getting love. Somebody offered to buy me a fry last Thursday. So you will sell your sexuality. Well, that's what I mean. Is that wrong? For Coca-Cola <laughs> Classic. <laughs> for, a co- for a classic Coke. It's refreshing. And some potato spuds. <laughs> that's what you'll do. But they're, but listen, they're Cajun spuds. They're actually they, real. They're really are, good. Are they Cajun? They're Cajun spuds. Oh, well, then uh, sell it all day. Right. Right. I yeah, mean, it's, you have it, to. You don't have a choice. It's worth it's Kate. Look, and it's from a restaurant called South of Philly. Is that not most of most perfect thing oh, ever? Oh, my God. End over. Do whatever I, it's, you got to do. That's it. I'm, I'm going to take it. Here's the unemployment choo choo. All right, Jeff. Uh, my uh, my life partner. How you doing? Yes. Hey. Um,. I had a very interesting uh, article sent to me by my Uncle Sam. And I I, I don't know how to kind of take this because it's an interesting article. 
but it's also really weird that he would send this particular article to me, and I just wanted to kind of get your opinion on it. All right, and I know, and I have 